today I'm going to be doing a fall book haul. It's been quite a while since I uploaded a book haul. I think my last haul was maybe in May or June and I have acquired a number of books that I'm really excited to talk about so I thought that today I would do a fall book haul. I have 10 books to talk about in this video and most of these books are newer releases but I have a wide variety of YA and adult and just all kinds of genres so I am excited to share these books with you and I'm going to go ahead and get started. First I'm going to talk about the books that I got from book of the month in the month of September and October. At the time of me filming this, my November Book of the Month books haven't come yet, so those will be featured in my next haul. The book that I got in the month of September was The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. I've already read this book. I talked about it in my October wrap-up, and I have a full review of it on Goodreads, which I will leave a link to. I really liked this. It is a historical retelling of the Trojan War, but it's told from Briseis's perspective, and it's all about the female experience during the Trojan War, and I really liked it. I would definitely recommend it, and I'm glad that Book of the Month had it. In October, I got two books. The first was An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. This is a highly anticipated novel by many. I am a fan of the Vlogbrothers but I'm not an avid watcher so I wasn't super anticipating this book but then I heard some amazing things about it so when I saw that Book of the Month had it I got it. I don't know anything about it but I'm excited to read it nonetheless and I really like the cover. The other book that I chose in October was The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton. This is a historical fiction novel which is one of my favorite genres and I feel like I haven't been reading much of that lately so I want to remedy that by reading this. I really don't know much about it but I think it takes place kind of dually in 1860s and then also maybe the 1960s. Not really sure. I'm excited to read it. I don't know much about it but from the book of the month selection this was one that really caught my eye so I decided to get it. Next I'm going to talk about some adult fiction that I got and the first of those was The Book of the Unnamed Midwife by Meg Ellison. I bought this book solely on the recommendation of some of my booktube friends who I really trust and whose reading tastes I usually tend to align with. This is a science fiction novel set in a world where it has become incredibly dangerous for women to have children and I think a lot of the population has died off and so the book follows one character, the unnamed midwife, as she goes around and helps women give birth and helps them prevent getting pregnant and things like that. Like I said, I've heard some amazing things about it from some really trusted booktube friends so I'm excited to read this one. I also got Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. This is a historical fiction romance novel I believe. I believe this is a dual timeline story about a woman who grew up in Cuba Cuba, and then her family immigrates to the United States and then like several generations later her granddaughter is traveling back to Cuba to kind of rediscover her family's roots and I am very excited to read this. I've heard amazing things about it on booktube from some again trusted booktube friends so I'm excited to pick this one up and I think I'm really gonna like it because I usually tend to like romance books and this seems something along the same lines of like a Taylor Jenkins Reid novel which if you know anything about me you know that Taylor Jenkins Reid is like my favorite author right now so I'm excited to pick this one up. I also got two books that make up a series and those are of course Vicious and Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. This book just recently came out so they re-released Vicious in a matching beautiful cover and so I bought the matching set and I have already read Vicious. I've done a full book review of that one which I will leave a link to in the eye and in the description and I'm excited to read Vengeful hopefully very soon. This is a series about supernatural powers and people who are not good or bad and I really really enjoyed the first book so I'm hoping to love the second book and I'm excited that I own the whole set. And then lastly I have some new releases in the YA genre. The first of those is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This is a continuation or a spin-off series of the Remnant Chronicles which starts with The Kiss of Deception which is one of my favorite fantasy trilogies ever. So when I found out she was continuing the series and writing a spin-off I had to get it. I really love this cover. It is really beautiful. I am excited to read this but I actually might end up rereading The Remnant Chronicles because it's been a while since I read them and I'd like to re-familiarize myself with the world before I jump into a new book but I'm excited to have this and read it nonetheless. I also got A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. I read a Deb Coletti book years ago and thought it was just all right so I never really picked anything else up by her but my friend Madeline over at Novel Inc. read this book earlier this year and loved it and I think I'm really gonna love it too so I ended up buying it. It's about a girl who is somehow involved in a school shooting and then she decides to run across America and I am really really excited to read this. It seems important and timely and also really good and so I'm hoping to pick it up this month. And the last book I have in this book haul is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. This is Tahara Mafi's 
first YA contemporary novel and it's about a Muslim girl in a post 9-11 New York City and I am really excited to read this because I've been hearing that it is amazing. I really love Tata Mafi's writing style and I am excited to see what she does in a YA contemporary setting. It's actually a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be but I think that means that I will read it relatively quickly and I am excited so I'm hoping to read this one this month as well. So those are all the books that I bought in the past few months. I'm trying to kind of slow my book buying down as we get closer to the holidays but I don't seem to be doing a very good job of that so I can't say that this is the last book haul of the year but maybe it is. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video and what you thought about them. Which of these books do I need to get to as soon as possible? I'd really love to know. Also let me know some books that you bought recently or a book that you bought that you're really excited about. I'd really love to know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!